Little Rafidi Niaina was born in St. Augustine by the light of a solar lamp. Her parents, Natasha and Germain, are proud users of a solar system thanks to the Solar Village project launched by the Swiss Malagasy NGO ADES and the German aid agency GTZ. Only 16% of Malagasy households are connected to the electrical grid. In rural areas, only 6% are. The national power supplier, Jirama, serves mainly the bigger cities. Its power is generated mostly by diesel fuel. As a consequence, electricity costs increase about 25% a year. Sun and wind are abundant in Madagascar. But solar systems and wind generators are expensive to install, and it takes years to pay them off. In the solar village, the users pay monthly electricity fees. ADES and GTZ want to show that green energy is a competitive solution for rural areas. St. Augustine, on the coast 25 kilometers south of Tuliar, offers ideal conditions for the rural electrification project. Fishing, raising livestock, and producing crops ensure a certain standard of living. Tourism is also important. People from around the world who visit St. Augustine will help to promote the project. Soraya rents four bungalows to tourists and has a little restaurant. Users of the solar system can also connect 12 volt equipment such as this Telma phone. In the countryside, it is now time to light a candle or petrol lamp. But you may also switch on one of the portable solar lamps that GTZ has made available to the project. The only entertainment at night is Mr. Alain's village disco. <laughs> While the village disco is powered by a generator, the lighting is already solar. 96 households in St. Augustine have basic power now. ADES purchased 20 solar boxes from Iteco at a reduced price. GTZ provided 30 solar 2007 portable lamps developed by the German NGO Solar Stiftung Freilassing. The Swiss company Tritec donated a big battery charging station and 20 Sundaya solar panels. The Sundaya system is manufactured in Indonesia. The solar box consists of a 30 watt module and a small unit. In the beginning, the people of St. Augustine were quite reserved. No one registered to participate in the project during the first three months that it was advertised at City Hall. After the first ten lighting systems were installed, everyone wanted to have one. This customer already has one lamp and would like to have a second. Ça c'est la recharge, cet appareil fonctionne sur 220, pour ça on a un convertisseur, c'est la batterie de notre station de recharge. Astina, the chief engineer at ADES, has a lot of experience installing solar systems. He trained Sulu and Ndesi, two young men from the village, to become technicians. Now they are able to set up the systems themselves. 
They will also do the maintenance and collect monthly fees from the users. Now there are more households on the waiting list than systems in stock. With monthly fees between 4,500 and 8,600 ariari, it pays to have solar electricity. The health risk for families using petrol lamps cannot be neglected. For lack of any alternative, the women of St. Augustine had to give birth to their babies by candlelight. Since the health center has been equipped with electric lighting, the number of women coming to the maternity to deliver has almost doubled. The bright lights give them confidence. <laughs> The school has also been equipped with a solar system. The villagers can now hold meetings in the evenings and a computer course is being offered. The teachers can do additional tutoring to help pupils prepare for exams, as shown here. The battery charging station sponsored by TriTech was originally destined to supply electricity to eight households, but it now serves 16. Customers may use the batteries from the station or bring their own for recharging. The Solar 2007 lamp is the most popular system in St. Augustine. It only costs 4,500 ariari per month. Because of its efficient LED, it supplies light for up to 10 hours. It is so sturdy that fishermen take it with them on their boats. The solar power supply has brought many improvements to St. Augustine. <laughs> Avec ce projet, nous avons démontré que c'est possible de faire de l'électrification rurale. Et maintenant, mon rêve, mon désir le plus ardent, c'est de pouvoir électrifier toute la côte ouest.